Even if we don't have the date, we do know the elections are on the horizon. And whilst it isn't clear who will be running yet, many of us are certain on the issues that will be important to us when we do get the chance to cast our votes. What do the kids have today? There's nothing for them. Friday, Saturday, all you see is them walking in the streets, which I don't think is good. The roads, the traffic, I mean, we should make things which a little bit more uh, sustainable so that people, if they, if they don't have to take the car, they should make it easy for people to have access to, to buses and go electric while there are enough electric vehicles around, you know. I'm a teacher, so definitely things school and education related. I work in St. Martin, so definitely we've had a lot of issues with our school and things not being finished properly. Uh, for example, we have a hydrotherapy pool that has not been finished and hasn't been finished since we moved in two years ago. So things like that, that would benefit our children, definitely. Housing for, for the up and coming generations. Um, I've got my son who's been looking for a house for ages, simply cannot afford. And I hear there's a waiting list of about a thousand people that haven't been able to make it into the subsidized accommodations. That is going to be a major um, um, issue for me. Health, one of the most important ones I think is the health part and this business of not being able to get uh, appointments when you need them because I find all that so terrible. That's one of the main ones but there are so many other issues that if I were to start now you would be here till tomorrow morning. Dog packs or something just more for because we've got loads of dogs in Jib and loads of kids around. I think they should think more about that. And the day-to-day -day things, the little things, the street cleaning, the roads which are in a total mess. The politicians seem to concentrate on big major projects that they can um, showcase. And the day-to-day -day things that are boring, that are not attractive to politicians, they get forgotten. We had the news um, last night about the, the ship uh, that spread the oil. They could do something about that, but they did it, you know, the captain got arrested. But, you know, uh, put some, something on, some to, so that it's guided, you know, was, uh, so it doesn't happen again, you know. Or, you know, who's going to pay that? The taxpayer. So there's nothing in Gibraltar for the dogs, so I think that would be quite nice and important for the dog lovers. Uh, maybe thinking as a parent now, um, something more for the younger generations, maybe another park. I know Commonwealth Park is very sort of, it's been a hit since it was made, um, but now it's getting quite packed of people. It's too early to say, a week before the elections, I'll tell you.